I gotta say, it's a pretty cool story. I was talking about it with some buddies, you know. I love my Torwalk machine. It's pretty cool to be able to graduate from, oh, whoops, I didn't realize we had the, oops. Oh, of facing. You know, I think John's story is an awesome story with uh, the knives and being able to continue to use the Torwalk, but really make use of a machine like this now. Pretty cool. Well, this is kind of funny. I'll show you guys if you're filming something. Oh. Too many, too many digits. Too many digits. So that's kind of a weird error that I've been getting with this machine, where if the NC code, um, edit file, bottom, if the um, N line numbers in the code, this doesn't have it though. If there's more than uh, 100,000 lines, there wouldn't have been. I don't know. You know how sometimes the code outputs N line? N160. Right, N160. and you can remove that, which I did in the post, and that solved this problem. I don't know why it's still having it then. What was it? To finish the facing, and it actually loaded up our chamfer tool, right? So it should really be like the last op. Uh, I do think, yeah, the chamfer tool 66 is our last tool. And then the engraving. Right, okay. All right, folks, we'll be back with the other side. Uh, we'll figure out what that error is later. Oh my god. Oh my god. Just... So we're using Fusion 360 to contour. If you want that option, choose uh, finish speed rate. You can go at a lower finish speed rate within the same op, which is nice. That was still only 50 finishing. It looks slow, but it's not. It still doesn't like the chamfer. Huh. We found the source of the problem. Apparently, we cannot run at 120,000 RPM. It was saying too many digits. It meant in the RPM. In so, the past, I've seen too many line digits, and I fixed that. But <laughs> like, uh, like everything, you would think uh, Fanic or Mori or somebody would be able to tell you a more helpful a debug error like too high an RPM like Pathpilot does, uh, but instead it gives you too many digits. <laughs> There is the, uh, that right there, folks, is a great example of why it is such a pain in the ass to film aluminum, because you're just looking at glare, <laughs> because it's so shiny. Uh, we'll take it out and take a closer look, but it's, I mean, beautiful. Oh, well, it, our whole chamfers are off. So, I'm sorry, my super loud air compressor <laughs> just came on. <laughs> awesome. We were talking at breakfast this morning, and I shared that I have actually never run a VMC before. I jogged one once at school, um, and he said, you would never run one before you bought one. No, 
I, I hadn't run one until this came here, and I was like, what do I do? I had training guys come in and teach me how to do it, but this guy just ran a VMC. I taught him how to do it. He probed the part. He called up tool numbers. He insert, er, inserted tools and called up the program and everything. And we made that, which is awesome. So, John, thank you very much. No problem, man. Take, take care, folks. See you soon. Come back next Wednesday for another Wednesday Widget.